before we start, please watch my previous video. The link will be in the description. Mateo Roach returned for her 13th game on Jeopardy. She won a 12-day total of $271,282 and is tied with Seth Wilson and Austin Rogers' number of wins. Ken Jennings' instruction was, Our 12-game champion Mateo Roach achieved her latest victory. In a rather unusual fashion as the only remaining player in Final Jeopardy, she did come up with a correct response, however, and now has to her name prize winnings of $271,282 or 344528 Canadian dollars. The audience laughed. So does that mean she's technically the first player to win over $300,000 since Amy Schneider? Alex and Megan, remember, it all started with a single win, and who knows? That could be you today. I'm still in complete shock that there was such a phenomenon in Jeopardy, especially three times in the past decade. Even more especially, the fact that last time it happened was a year and a half ago in October of 2020. I'm also in complete shock that out of any champion this season, in season 38, it happened under Matea's run. Alex got the first Daily Double right after the many actual interviews. He made it a true Daily Double, got it right, and went to $2,400. The name of this utensil also means to nestle while lying and facing another's back. Ken said, ah, yes, after Matea answered, what is spoon? Ah, yes. Megan out of the first round winning $2,000. Matea was in second place at $5,400, and Alex was in the lead at $6,000. Matea got the first daily double in Double Jeopardy, said, interesting situation, I'll wager $3,000, because she was in the lead by $1,000. She knew the answer immediately, and went to $11,200. He got both daily doubles. Alex got the second daily double in Double Jeopardy, risked 5,000, unfortunately got it wrong, and went down to 9,000. Nobody answered the last question in Double Jeopardy. Mateo was in lead at $20,000 even. Alex was in second place at 12,600, and Megan was in third place at 4,000. The final Jeopardy category was films of the 1950s. This should be easy. The question was, the title character of this film has the same name as the Roman goddess of the dawn. Well, forget everything I just said. <laughs> I don't know anything about Greek or Roman mythology. I'm trying to think of the I'm trying to think of films of the 1950s that starred a woman or a female actress, and I can't. All right, what's the answer? The answer was Sleeping Beauty. That's correct. Princess Aurora, named for the goddess of the dawn, given that her whole act is working up after a good night's sleep. I guess one of the only Disney films I haven't seen. Sleeping Beauty has a name. I definitely need to learn the names of Greek gods and goddesses and Rome gods and goddesses. Megan was the only one to answer correctly. She bet 3500 taking her score to $7,500. Ken points out that Matea had a big lead, even though it was not a runaway. In fact, Alex Lemberg risked 8000 So hypothetically, if he answered right and Matea answered wrong, he would have been tonight's winner at $20,600. Now imagine if he got the second daily double in double jeopardy. Now imagine if he got the second daily double in double jeopardy correct. Alex was the second player this week who had the potential to end Matea's reign. Matea emphatically said no after Ken asked, not a Disney Princess fan. They both laughed. Matea risked five thousand two hundred one dollars, taking her down to fourteen thousand seven hundred ninety nine dollars. She's now at a thirteen day total of two hundred eighty six thousand eighty one dollars. She beat Seth Wilson and Austin Rogers' record. Let's see if she'll win tomorrow. And as always, thank you for watching.